So yeah, on this video, um, I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed in uh, both of them for the lack of uh, restraint and control. And, um, you know, just going up on stage, slapping him like that, that's, that's just not, that's just losing your cool. You feel me? You always got to keep your cool. But, and, and then another thing, I also, I also understand that, yes, um, Will Smith, uh, Chris Rock, he may have went below the belt with the, uh, G.I. Jane joke, uh, with Jada, um. You know, and Jada had alopecia, and that's why her head's like that, and all that. But we also noticed, and maybe Chris Rock can attest to this as well. We all knew that Chris, I mean, that uh, Jada Pinkett, she had wear her hair like that before. So maybe he just didn't know. You know what I'm saying? And uh, there's other ways how you could, I feel like there's other ways how he could, uh, you know, um, he could have handled the situation, you know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like maybe you could have been like, okay, watch your mouth talking about my wife. You know, he could have screamed that first. And then if he kept going, then go up there and slap him. You know, maybe that could have been, uh, a good, uh, resolve. But at the same time though, um, yeah, I don't think Chris knew that, you know, that's what was going on, you know? You know, they put all their situations all out in the media and all out on the internet, but you just didn't leave, you left that one out. You know what I'm saying? So leaving that particular thing out, um, because they always put everything else out. So they can, everything else is all out on the table. So, you know, maybe he thought he'd just cut her hair, you know what I'm saying? He didn't think none of it, I don't think, bro. And for you to just do that, just off the limb like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that didn't show restraint whatsoever. And I am disappointed in you, Will Smith. But at the same time, though, I understand you trying to, you know, you trying to, um, you know, protect your wife, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, and you don't want people disrespecting your wife like that. And also it could be a numerous of things. It couldn't just be that situation, I don't think. I think there at that certain time was like, oh, just building up the entanglement situation. Oh, because I'll see you, you know, uh, you know, have sex with your wife. Um, you know, other situations him saying, Oh, you don't satisfy her, saying that you don't love her, uh you as much the same, you know, putting all that information on the table. And it's like this, man. And then you're going to go out on, on a limb and say, hey, she never cheated. Nobody ever cheated or whatever. You're just trying to not be as embarrassed. You, you're not trying to put yourself uh, in an embarrassing light like you have in the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So I think also um, that was a, um, a politically correct answer, if you will, uh, for him to even say that on... Uh, on uh internet and for him not to get so much bashing but still you're gonna get bashed your a-list celebrity and all that so you're gonna still get bashed either way if you put your uh, business out there you know what i'm saying so even if i'm not an a-list celebrity i still wouldn't put my business out there like my, my relationship business and all that but especially if i'm an a-list celebrity i'm not doing that you know what i'm saying and you know she don't got really much. It don't you know, got really much. She just got the red table talk, and that also gives out views, makes, and also um, uh, calculates into money as well. So uh, with that being said, yeah, you know all this stuff can be play uh, fun and games. You know when you know you're getting residuals for it. You know, uh, AKA uh, real money. You know what I'm saying, and things like that and that nature. So, but at the same time, though, it's just not a good look. And I feel like, um, yeah, she embarrassed you for so, so, so long. And then I think Will Spill was actually laughing at that point. He was laughing after that joke and everything. And then he looked over at Jada and was like, she wasn't laughing. She was just like, you know, just fed up. 
know what I'm saying? And maybe she was crying over the alopecia thing over and over again at nights too. And and he it just he thought about it like, oh man, this this ain't cool. You feel me? So, and I think that's probably what it was as well. You know what I'm saying? And um, and I just never want our black uh, actors or celebrities to handle situations like that. Maybe he could have took it off. You know what I'm saying? Um, he could have took it off the air and, and, and talked about it and everything like that. But then again, maybe he knew he would have got bashed even more because he didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? So, so I feel like you can't, you can't really win there. You know what I'm saying? Because people are going to talk about it, damn what they do, damn what they don't. So, um, and then also, I think he was just fed up with all that stuff that was going on with him. And then that was just like his breaking point. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. And so that's why I think he really just went up there and, and slapped him. You know, because that was really his breaking point. And he wanted people to stop talking about him. Stop talking mess about him and stuff. Uh, you know, uh, all the embarrassment he get, you know, cuck holding, uh, cuck holding stuff that people talk about, t uh, saying that there he's a simp, saying that oh he doesn't have a backbone, all that. Maybe that got into him and was like, oh, enough is enough, and then that was probably his breaking point right there. You know what I'm saying? And he was sitting like close to the stage, so he was like, man, I'm gonna go over there. And go Go hit him. Like, this is enough. Enough is enough. So that's another reason why I think why that happened. But um, I feel like it's still, that's still not good to do. Um, you know, a lot of people can, um, a lot of people can say stuff about you, but still at the end of the day, words, sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. We learned that in preschool, sir. Please use that again. Not <laughs> just flat. But yeah, so uh, I also think that too as well. Um, you know, I'm not ex excusing um, Chris Rock's behavior. Um, it's out of ignorance, honestly. It's just I feel like, oh, you know, just say she had alopecia, you dipshit, or so, something like that. She had alopecia, woo, woo, woo. You know what I'm saying? Keep her, keep your, her name out your mouth. Uh, and he would have been like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. He would apologize, you feel me? And I think that's how we should handle it. Now they're going to make jokes about you even more now. Like, your, your name, integrity, and all that matters. Understand, and your name's still gonna be out there in the uh, limelight, it, especially after this. So, with that being said, that is not a good move to do, sir. But at the same time, you're protecting your woman, you're protecting your wife. I would have probably did the same for my wife because, uh, yeah, you know, I never wanted her to feel a, cer a certain way. You know, you gotta go home with that. So, uh, and again, um. I feel like Jada has kind of like been embarrassing you for the longest, you know what I'm saying, on the internet. And I understand, you know, it's cheaper to keep her and all that stuff. But man, forget that, bro. I know you're worth about like, what, 300, uh, let's see, 350 mil. You know, so half of that, well, like 175 mil. So she takes that. Um, I feel like you know, it's easy for me to say because I never had that much type of money. But at the same time, I feel like your integrity um, is worth uh, more than money. You know, I feel like your integrity is just priceless. And you can't never put a price on integrity. So, um, you know, that's how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, she doesn't respect you either way. Um and still, you want to work things out, things like you're you're better than me because I would not stay around for that, stick around for that, especially if I was the first rapper to win a Grammy, or you know what I mean. So, yeah, no, that's out, that's out. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, so that's about it. What I have to say to that.
Um, you know, I feel like he still can handle it better and protect your wife at the same time. So, yeah, give me a comment. Give me a like, too, with the video, man. Uh, I appreciate all the love, you guys. Um, yeah, I'm signing out. Peace.